Question 1. A client's lab results show a potassium level of 7.0 milli equivalent per liter. What medication does the nurse anticipate the physician might order? A. Furosemide. B. Sodium bicarbonate. C. Potassium chloride. D. Sodium polystyrene sulfonate. Answer, D. Sodium polystyrene sulfonate. Rationale, sodium polystyrene sulfonate, k is used to treat hyperkalemia by helping the body excrete excess potassium. Question 2. Which of the following symptoms would a nurse expect in a patient with hyponatremia? A. Dry, sticky mucous membranes. B. Deep tendon reflexes, diminished. C. Positive trousseau sign. D. Seizures. Answer, D. Seizures. Rationale, hyponatremia can lead to neurological symptoms such as seizures due to the effect of low sodium on neuronal activity. Question 3. Which of the following is a primary function of chloride in the body? A. Muscle contraction. B. Acid-base balance. C. Transmission of nerve impulses. D. Bone formation. Answer, B. Acid-base balance. Rationale, chloride plays a significant role in maintaining acid-base balance and is also involved in the formation of gastric acid. Question 4. Which of the following conditions can lead to metabolic alkalosis? A. Aspirin overdose. B. Prolonged vomiting. C. Diabetic ketoacidosis. D. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Answer, B. Prolonged vomiting. Rationale. Loss of gastric acid from prolonged vomiting can lead to metabolic alkalosis. Question 5. The nurse knows that the administration of which IV fluid might be used to treat hypernatremia. A. 3% saline. B. Lactated ringers. C. 0.45% saline. D. D5W. Answer, C. 0.45% saline. Rationale. 0.45% saline, half-normal saline, is a hypotonic solution that can dilute the serum sodium level, helping treat hypernatremia. Question 6. Which hormone regulates the balance of calcium in the blood and bones? A. Thyroxine. B. Parathyroid hormone. C. Aldosterone. D. Cortisol. Answer, B. Parathyroid hormone. Rationale, the parathyroid hormone plays a critical role in calcium homeostasis by increasing blood calcium levels. Question 7. Hypocalcemia can result from a deficiency of which vitamin? A. Vitamin A. B. Vitamin B12. C. Vitamin C. D. Vitamin D. Answer, D. Vitamin D. Rationale. Vitamin D is essential for calcium absorption in the gut. A deficiency can lead to decreased calcium levels. Question 8. What might the nurse expect to find in a patient with hypokalemia? A. Flat T waves on ECG. B. Flaccid paralysis. C. Twitching muscles. D. Both A and B. Answer, D. Both A and B. Rationale, hypokalemia can lead to muscle weakness or flaccid paralysis and flat T waves on an ECG. Question 9. Which of the following conditions might lead to hypomagnesemia? A. Renal failure. B. Addison's disease. C. Malnutrition. D. Hemochromatosis. Answer, C. Malnutrition. Rationale, malnutrition can result in decreased intake and absorption of magnesium, leading to hypomagnesemia. Question 10. A patient with a high phosphate level might also have a low level of which electrolyte? A. Sodium. 
B. Calcium C. Magnesium D. Potassium Answer B. Calcium Rationale Calcium and phosphate have an inverse relationship in the body, if phosphate levels rise, calcium levels can decrease. Question 11. Which of the following foods is a rich source of potassium? A. Cheese B. Bananas C. Eggs D. Bread Answer, B. Bananas Rationale Bananas are known for their high potassium content. Question 12. For a patient with fluid volume overload, what symptom might the nurse expect to find? A. Hypotension. B. Dry mucous membranes. C. Crackles in the lungs. D. Sunken eyes. Answer. C. Crackles in the lungs. Rationale. Fluid volume overload can lead to pulmonary edema, which might produce crackles upon auscultation. Question 13. The normal pH range for arterial blood is a. 6.95 to 7.35 b. 7.15 to 7.45 c. 7.35 to 7.45 d. 7.00 to 7.40 Answer, C. 7.35 to 7.45. Rationale, the normal pH range for arterial blood is between 7.35 and 7.45, maintaining a slightly alkaline environment. Question 14. Which condition is characterized by a deficient volume of circulating blood plasma? A. Hypervolemia. B. Euvolemia. C. Hypovolemia. D. Edema. Answer. C. Hypovolemia. Rationale. Hypovolemia refers to a reduced volume of circulating blood plasma, leading to decreased oxygen delivery to tissues. Question 15. Which of the following is not a clinical manifestation of hyperkalemia? A. Peaked T waves on ECG. B. Muscle weakness. C. Nausea. D. Deep tendon hyperreflexia. Answer. D. Deep tendon hyperreflexia. Rationale. Deep tendon hyperreflexia is not typically associated with hyperkalemia. Hyperkalemia can manifest as peaked T waves, muscle weakness, and nausea. Question 16. Which of the following might cause a false elevation in serum potassium levels? A. Prolonged use of tourniquet during blood draw. B. Hemolysis. C. Refrigeration of the blood sample. D. A and B. Answer. D. A and B. Rationale. Both prolonged use of a tourniquet and hemolysis can lead to a false elevation in serum potassium levels. Question 17. The hormone responsible for regulating water reabsorption in the kidneys is A. Thyroxine B. Aldosterone C. Antidiuretic hormone ADH D. Cortisol Answer, C. Antidiuretic hormone ADH Rationale, ADH, vasopressin, regulates the reabsorption of water in the kidneys, determining the concentration of urine. Question 18. Which of the following conditions might result from chronic, severe vomiting? A. Metabolic alkalosis. B. Metabolic acidosis. C. Respiratory alkalosis. D. Respiratory acidosis. Answer. A. Metabolic alkalosis. Rationale. Chronic, severe vomiting can lead to a loss of stomach acid, resulting in metabolic alkalosis. Question 19. A patient with Cushing syndrome might exhibit which of the following electrolyte imbalances? A. Hyponatremia. B. Hyperkalemia. C. Hypernatremia. D. Hypocalcemia. Answer, C. 
hypernatremia. Rationale, Cushing syndrome, due to increased cortisol, can lead to sodium and water retention, resulting in hypernatremia. Question 20. A nurse knows to monitor for which of the following in a patient receiving IV 3% saline. A. Hyponatremia. B. Hypernatremia. C. Hypokalemia. D. Hyperkalemia. Answer. B. Hypernatremia. Rationale. 3% saline is a hypertonic solution that can increase sodium levels in the blood, leading to hypernatremia. Question 21. Which of the following might be an early sign of hypocalcemia? A. Bradycardia. B. Constipation. C. Tingling in the lips and fingers. D. Polyuria. Answer. C. Tingling in the lips and fingers. Rationale. An early sign of hypocalcemia can be paresthesia or tingling, especially around the mouth or in the extremities. Question 22. A patient who has been on prolonged bed rest might be at risk for which electrolyte imbalance? A. Hyponatremia. B. Hypercalcemia. C. Hypokalemia. D. Hyperphosphatemia. Answer. B. Hypercalcemia. Rationale. Prolonged bed rest can lead to bone resorption, releasing calcium into the bloodstream and increasing the risk of hypercalcemia. Question 23. The nurse knows to assess for which clinical manifestation in a patient with hypermagnesemia. A. Tremors. B. Hyperreflexia. C. Flushing. D. Tachycardia. Answer. C. Flushing. Rationale. Flushing is a common clinical manifestation of hypermagnesemia. Question 24. Which of the following diuretics is known as a potassium-sparing diuretic? A. Furosemide, Lasix. B. Hydrochlorothiazide, HCTZ. C. Spironolactone, Aldactone. D. Bumetanide, Bumex. Answer. C. Spironolactone, Aldactone. Rationale. Spironolactone, Aldactone, is a potassium-sparing diuretic meaning it promotes the excretion of sodium and water without causing significant potassium loss. Question 25. A patient's arterial blood gas, ABG, results indicate a pH of 7.30, a PaCO2 of 50 mm of mercury, and a bicarbonate, HCO3, of 26 milliequivalent per liter. How would the nurse interpret these results? A. Respiratory acidosis. B. Respiratory alkalosis. C. Metabolic acidosis. D. Metabolic alkalosis. Answer. A. Respiratory acidosis. Rationale. The decreased pH indicates an acidic state. The elevated PaCO2, normal is 35 to 45 mm of mercury, suggests that the acidosis is respiratory in origin. The bicarbonate is slightly elevated, suggesting a compensatory mechanism. Visit nursestudy.net for more nursing practice exams, care plans, and study guides.